we have moved past the tipping point for global war in the Middle East. Aircraft carriers crowd the Persian Gulf. The U.S. Navy having recently deployed a fourth aircraft carrier to the region, along with a fleet of underwater drones preparing for an inevitable attack on Iran. The United States having already sent three massive aircraft carriers to the waterways outside of Iran, including the USS Enterprise, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, and the USS Abraham Lincoln, will now add the USS John C. Stennis to the fleet. These ships are equipped with billions of dollars worth of weaponry and service personnel, and America's newest addition to the battlefront is invisible to those on land and can be controlled from anywhere in the world. Recent military maneuverings as well as the deployment of a flotilla of 11 Russian warships coincides perfectly with an upcoming UN meeting scheduled this Friday on July 20th. The United Nations will be discussing the armed conflict in Syria that has conveniently come on the heels of an intense media fury over the alleged Trimsa killings that according to U.S. media outlets has been a civilian massacre counting for hundreds of civilian deaths. However, after a comprehensive UN investigation of the attack on the Syrian city on Saturday, it has been concluded that the attack on Trimsa actually targeted heavily armed rebels and terrorist groups, not innocent civilians. The findings directly contradict opposition claims of civilian killings by Assad forces. The West is playing a media blame game in order to aggravate popular support for a new war, and what is abundantly clear is that the United States is looking for a repeat of the Libyan invasion that left Muammar Gaddafi brutally murdered. The mainstream media cry for humanitarian aid is really just a mask for a violent U.S.-led regime change in Syria. President Barack Obama and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton want Bashar al-Assad dead. And if they have their way, a bloody and violent new global war is about to erupt.